Hey YouTube, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. We're going to talk about the difference between deep learning and data science. I did a Google search for both of these terms. Deep learning is defined as a part of a broader family of machine learning methods based on artificial neural networks that's representation learning. Learning can be sem supervised, semi-supervised, or unsupervised. If that gives any meaning to someone who doesn't know what this is, I would be surprised because I know a lot about deep learning and I think that's a terrible definition. Let me try again for data science. I have data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract knowledge and insights from any structural and unstructured data. Okay, I mean, I think that's a little bit better. Basically, the idea is that data science is extracting value from data. Okay, that's, that's all it means. It could have so many different ways of doing that, such as using something like deep learning, which I'll explain afterwards. Well, I've, I've made a classification model for predicting fruit. So, so maybe you were at a grocery store and you wanted just to use your phone to take a picture of a fruit and you wanted to know what that fruit was. So you take a picture and your phone must recognize somehow that this, you say you take a picture of a watermelon, it must know it's a watermelon so it can return information to you about a watermelon. To do that, we might use something called deep learning. Deep learning is, we use neural networks and a neural network is some sort of model, okay? It's, it's, it's as much a model as simple linear regression is a model. So in simple linear regression, you have, say, you draw a graph, okay? You'd have X and Y. You would plot some points, and you would see, even just with your eyes, you could see, say, is, as x goes up, does y generally increase? Does y generally decrease? Or maybe it's not linear. Maybe it's not just going up. Maybe it's like a quadratic. Okay, so you could use some sort of a model, like a linear model or a quadratic model, to plot whatever, or to model whatever data that was. Given some x values, you could try and predict the y values. That's the same thing that deep learning is doing, a lot of the time anyway. And in recent research, we've been extremely focused on, say, image classification, which is what I just said with the fruit. You take a picture of a watermelon, and we want to know that it's a watermelon. To do that, you would use a neural network. Specifically, you use, use a convolutional neural network, but it's just some sort of neural network. And all a neural network is, is just a model, like simple linear regression, except it has way more parameters. It has way more going on. There's way more math. In simple linear regression, to do the, uh, to, to produce your Y, you would have beta naught, so some parameter, plus beta 1, so some other parameter, times your X value. So that's very simple. In, in additions, it's just it's one addition and it's one multiplication. It's going to what we call underfit a lot of the data. We need something like deep learning to predict what a watermelon is. It's very complicated. You can have all sorts of these watermelon pictures and it has to be, your model has to be robust to pick up on different pictures. To do that, we use these neural networks. For now, just treat them as a black box that does something like prediction. Uh, a lot of the time, they're just used for, say, figuring out what's in an image. A self-driving car, maybe it's constantly trying to figure out everything that's in the image, and it's going to put these boxes around each of them. So that's deep learning. Now, you say, well, okay, what, what's, what's data science? It's extracting value from data. So maybe that involves predicting a watermelon, or predicting what fruit is in the picture. Maybe it involves drawing these boxes around um, around objects for a self-driving vehicle. Maybe it is not nearly that complicated. Maybe you are doing a simple linear regression. Maybe you are just trying to, you know, calculate a median, calculate some, some simple, like, average, min, max, maybe you need just some aggregation like that. Clustered the data, okay? So that would fall under data science as well. And sometimes we actually use deep learning for that as well. The term data science really just means being good with data. And that's why I think it gets really confusing when you try and talk about the difference between data science and deep learning or data science and machine learning. It's because data science is extremely broad. 
of a term. And a lot of people, they start to think it's, it implies machine learning, that it implies that you are a, a, someone with a PhD and you're doing research in the field. I don't think it's often an easy job to do, but a lot of the time, it means you know how to use SQL. You're comfortable with relational databases. Maybe you're comfortable with using big data like Spark or Hadoop. Often you're doing, you're using these tools just to do simple stuff like graphing the data, trying to figure out value in the data, however you choose to do that. So hopefully that cleared up the difference. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. You know, if you like what I did, please give me a like and please subscribe to the channel. 80% of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed and it makes me sad. It's going to pop up right after this. So bye-bye.